goes back at least 5,000 years ago. Originated at least minimum 3rd millennia before common era. Origins, the origins of Hinduism cannot be ascribed to any single founder or any specific time or any single place. Hinduism includes almost any form of religion any style of religion ever known to humanity with millions of major gods or minor gods. Hinduism has three sources of other religion. These three other religion is that Jainism, Buddhism, Sikhism, these three religions are come from the Hinduism. Hindu means Hindu river. In the ancient India <coughs> language, Sankrit. told that today in this river as a Hindus river, okay, or Sindhu river, Muslim, Great Britain, use the, the, this uh, religion as a, a Hindu, Hindus, Hindus, okay. Uh, this map shows the current India. Hinduism has no a single founder, but originated from the mixing of Harappan cultures and Aryan cultures in the ancient India around 1,005 years before. Common era. What is the Harappan uh, culture and Aryan culture? I will tell you in detail in subsequent slide. Hindus believe in one unifying spirit, one unifying God, Brahma. Brahma can manifest in many forms of God. Only one God, but other many gods are the manifestation of one God, Brahma. Universal soul. Okay. Horepon India. Horepon India. Horepon India. Horepon India. Horepon civilization. Bigger. At least. 3,000 people come on air. Only in those various societies is referred as a Harappan India or Harappan civilizations. In 3000 before common era, the farming settlements appear along the valley of river Indus. In this valley, today, Pakistan. city of Horepa was developed around 3000 before common era 
from prehistory in the sculptures. Onora, a city, Mohenjo, Daro was built in uh, 2600 before common era. This Indus Valley civilization was peak, how, uh, high point in around 2500 before common era. Horepa and Mohenjo-daro ah, were two major cities in the Horepan civilizations. These two cities were the centers of Indus, early Indus civilizations that proliferated from 2500 to 1700 before Common Era, however, destroyed by in the European pastoral nomad invaders in 1,500 before Common Era. Uh, this map shows the uh, Horepan civilizations. Horepan? Mohenjo Daro located in today Pakistan's Punjab province. These cities were built in 2600 before Common Era from prehistory in the cultures. The characteristics of Horepan India, farming, culture, commerce. Horepan society was a center on family, fertility, and farming. They cultivate wheat, rice, barley, cotton. They domesticate sheep. Cattle, goats, beef, chickens. These Indus very people were connected commercially and culturally with the Mesopotamians. Their existence of a trading relationship between Horepan civilizations and most Mesopotamia. This slide shows one of many inscribed scale seer that is found in the Indus Valley as cities. <sighs> decline of Horepan society. Population decline around 2000 before Common Era. Probable cause of population decline works, mainly shrinking food supplies. The historians once saw that the aliens, a group of Indo-European nomadic people, draw the Horeca. Okay? The legend says that Aliens coming and conquered her references. But today, historians believe that evidence shows that her cities were destroyed by natural disasters before long, long before aliens' lives. Natural disaster of early her Civilizations are climate change 
this is the uh, police stations. So it justens flood earthquakes that change just the cause of inverse. As the Indus Valley, the cities decline, the areas move into the India and settle along the Indus Valley. The areas, a group of Indo Europeans, among the areas is the Hittite, who fought the Egyptians belongs to this group of Indo-European groups. Aryans or speak dialects of Indo-European language. That language is uh, called as a Sanskrit or the Indus. Hint, uh, all of the <coughs> scriptures of Hinduism, scriptures of, of Buddhism, scriptures of Jainism were written in this Aryan language, Sanskrit. Aryan's alive in North India, from Iran, Persia, and South Russia, at around 1500 before Common Era. These areas called the conquer native Indian people as a Dasa. Dasa means Dasa is a Sanskrit language. Dasa means a servant or the enemy. Most areas where nomads lives in family clan. The chief of a family clan was referred as a, 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 a Lachas. They heard the living storm. Arians warriors rode horse driven chariot, used long bows, used the bronze axes. These Arians fled homeland around the 2000 before Common Era for unknown reasons. Hittite <coughs> went to Southwest Asia. However, many other Hittite settled in Europe. These many other Hittites conquered the Greeks, conquered the Latin, ancient Rome. Dravidians were there when these areas alive in 1500 people common era. Area, these areas brought their religion. Their religion is a Brahmanism and their simple way of life. Aryans spread their language. Their language is called as a Sanskrit. Spread their religion. Their religion is called as a Brahmanism. Spread their language, their religion to the native Indians. Dravidian people, okay? And these two cultures, 
commingled and produced today Hinduism. Okay? The arrival. Uh, this map shows the arrival of the areas around 1,500 people come a group of nomadic warrior herders is cross a narrow Kaiba pass in the Hindu Kush mountains and invade the Indus Valley cultures. These people, Aryans, came from Eastern Europe between Black Sea and Caspian Sea probably looking for the pastures for the animals, flooding and the earthquakes have weakened the native Indus Valley cultures and native Indus Valley people, Dravians, were unable to protect these invaders, unable to withstand the new uh, the Aryan uh, commerces. Okay? The bottom map shows is the kind of pets in Hindu Kush mountains. Bonapus Napoleon attacked India from uh, through these type of facts. Uh, only uh, type of facts is the type of the type of facts is the only one way to arrive from uh, the west to the east India. Okay. okay, this map shows the areas in the European areas. Immigration first wave during 10,000 people come on era to 2,000 people come on era. Homeland is a Siberia. They areas immigrated to Scandinavia, German, Italia, Greece, Persia, and India. From ten thousand people come on air. The Dasas and the Aryans class and fought with each other. At first, the Aryans and other civilizations in the India practiced their own religions, their own language, their own uh, the cultures. Dasas were other major civilization living in India at the time of Aryans invasions. Dasas and Aryans clashed a fault with each other. But the Aryans used the meta weapons and the chariot and arrows. Aryans win. Dasas defeat and plan into the southern India. Eventually, the Aryans and remaining Dasas intermingled. 
their separated forms of two religions fused into one religion, Hinduism. New religious ideas were formed. Aryans, Brasis, Aryans believes, Bras, Dasas, native Dasas believes, equal the Hinduism. Hindu, therefore, Hinduism is a collection of religious belief that developed slowly over a long period of time in the India around 1700 to 1100 before Common Era. No founder has been traced to the Hinduism. Vedic India, Arias conquered the Harappan civilization and established their Vedic civilizations. Therefore, after conquering Arias, uh, 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 conquering. Uh, the Harappan civilization, uh, India, uh, be, uh, the <clears throat> historian used the term of the Vedic India, okay? Be Harappan India, Vedic India separated. Dravidian Indian people control the Horepan India. However, the areas in the European, the Aryan people control the Vedic India. Aryan incursions and the rise of Vedic cultures incursion suddenly attack. The Aryan arrived in northern India in the Spanish culture declined after 2000 before common era. At the same time, a group of the European pastoral nomad called the Aryans began migrating into this in the Valley and the Finnish, the Harappan civilizations. In the Vedic India, in the Indian India, there is no central government. Only a lot of small communities, a lot of small kingdoms are controlled and ruled by the rangers. Ranger is a Chief of Aryan family clan. Aryan developed baby cultures from 1500 before common era to 500 before common era. Baby cultures are characterized by the rich social structure. Same Christ language, Burma, or complex caste systems. Vedas are the major sources for information about these Aryan peoples. What is the meaning of Aryan? Aryan means the noble person. In Sankari's language, the Vedas originate the ideology of the Brahmanism. Aryans, noble person, Burses, Darsas, servant people. Uh, 
I told you again, Arians conquered the Dravidian people and they fight with each other. Finally, Arian people win. Dravidian people defeated. After that, Arian and Dravidian mix brandy. North India are the descendant of Arians. South Indians are the descendant of the flag, uh, the Dipiti, native uh, Indians, Dravidians, okay? South Indians, people of South Indians are, most people of South Indians are Dravidians, most of North Indians are the Aryans. Before the Aryans, Dravidian people decide in the India. Aryan support with them, brought with them their own language called the Sankris and religious and religious uh, the cultural beliefs in the Sumerian people became intermixed with Aryan people and these two cultures together make up what is now much culture of the modern India. <clears throat> oh. Okay, uh, this map shows the Aryans migrated into India the second millennium before common era. Migration established a caste system in the India. Aryans brought the caste system which keep people in strict social class, social division to the India. In early, in the early Vedic India, the limited social mobility was possible only within once own caste. Hinduism, the major religion of India, was a mixture of Aryan uh, beliefs and Indus Valley beliefs. Hinduism equal Aryan belief and native Indus Beliefs. <clears throat> Barely a little is known about the pre Aryan people of India because. Puri Aryan people of India is at least 5,000 years ago, okay? There is no written evidence, okay? The archaeology has revealed that civilization of Indus Valley will advance and include the written language many statues and many emirates discovered possibly a patriotica suggested that they had religious belief and ceremonial buildings were also found in the excavation of 
the Harappan civilizations, Mohenjo-daro city, and Harappan city. A pre aryan India has developed religion that might be the source of some later Hindu god and later Hindu practices. In this very city, the kind of aliens moved into India and settled along the Ganges River. Aryans migrated into India uh, through the Persia between 1750 uh, uh, and 1200s before Common Era are becoming, the Aryans become, uh, became the progenitors of modern Hinduism. Early Aryan migrants were nomadic shepherds led by tribal chief called the legends. Early Aryan civilization in India, uh, 6th century before common era, the Rajas developed the minor kingdoms, Aryan civilization developed into four basic uh, classes that become the, the basis for radar caste system. Thousands of the groups organized into these four uh, categories Brahmins, Kshatriya, Vaishyas, Sudras. This caste system works very, very important part of Hinduism. <clears throat> this caste system is outlaw since 1948 the constitutions of Republic of India. Okay? The caste are social classes, social divisions into which a person is born and lives the entire life. If a person has a good karma, they may be the incarnated into a higher caste. Karma means the action or deed or behavior during his or her life is referred as a karma in Sanskrit languages. <clears throat> I told you later about the concept of the karma. Okay? The caste system uh, separate the Indian society into distinct social classes in which everyone knew their places and everyone, every Indian believed that if they follow the Dharma of their caste, They would be the incarnated in the bare caste. What is the meaning of karma? Terms of dharma. I call radio. Dharma is a ethical standard. Everybody must devote to this ethical standard dharma then be born again as a high 
higher level of a person. I'll tell you later. Baby religion. The, be the best sources of knowledge about the baby religion of early Indian is the baby resurrection. A baby uh, resurrection provide the baby religions. The areas were in the European polytheists. All Indians is a polytheist. Many gods. Whose gods personify natural forces, such as God of Storm, God of Sun, Moon, Soil, Fertility, Hands, and Hands, have animistic roots. Uh, Arians, early Arians has uh, animism. What is the meaning of animism? Animism is a belief that all living and non-living things in the nature have a spirit. Everything has its own spirit. Therefore, everybody, human being, must respect, moderate this spirit. That is the enemies. Early Aryan religion is called Brahmanism. Be Why Brahman? Brahman is uh, the high position of priest. Okay. Sacrifice was the chief man of worship to the God in the early Vedic religion. Open animal sacrifices, but other uh, products can be sacrificed to the God. Animals, food, drink, uh, plants can be sacrificed to the God. The Vedas have extra payment formula for uh, sacrificial offerings to the God. <sighs> Brahmanism, early uh, Aryans believe, is a Brahmanism. Brahmanism was the religion brought by the Aryans. Brahmanism developed, raider developed into the Hinduism. A Brahmanism, the Brahman recognized one supreme right forces, one supreme life forces is a leaper as a Brahman. But this one supreme right forces takes a bit uh, forms of uh, several deities. Therefore, other many gods are the manifestations of this one God, Brahman, in verse soul. The Brahmanism was named for the a priest or the Brahmans. Below two features show that Brahmans read the Vedic chant. Brahmanism, Vedic age, uh, from um, 1500 uh, to 500 before common era religion is a Brahmanism. Only Vedic 
age characteristics of early bathing ages are as follows: the bathers, heart system, early umphenisha. The bathers is a collection of religious texts that form the foundation of Hindu theories. That is written. Vedas was written in Sanskrit languages. Brahmanism believed in the incarnations or the soul would be reborn again. Soul never died. However, body died. Brahmanism is considered to be the predecessors of the Hinduism. Samsara, Dharma, and Karma. Brahmanism, Vedic Age religion, set forth the three basic concepts that have been the central to the Indian world view. This is the concept the imports social order. Samsara. Samsara is a, uh, the incarnation. And there is, and there is a cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. Dharma is a righteous of way of living. Ethical standard of living is Dharma. It means that everybody must behave and act according to the one's cause. Karma is a belief that your action in your life affect your future lives. Okay? If you did the good behavior, then uh, you have a good return. If you committed the bad the actions, you will have a bad return in this life and after life, that is a karma, concept of karma. Uh, okay, early Upanishad, worship, Brahman is worship, many natural deities. However, many nature de deities are come from the one God, Brahman. Okay, many nature, deities, are manifestations of the one God, Brahman. Brahman Brahmanism made the sacrifice of animals to God in the sacred fires in early days, animal sacrifice to God was a very, very important part of the religion. But soon, these animal sacrifices lost its popularity because they had their feeling grow that animal should not be cared for the sacrifice. They believe that animals have also their own spirit. Therefore, we must respect the spirit of the animals. The Brahman provides the spirit to the animal. Therefore, we should not destroy or kill the spirit of that animal. Okay? 
rituals, religious rituals, and religious hymns are found in the Vedas. The religious uh, rituals and hymns recorded in Sankari's texts, text books, that is called as the Vedas. Veda record ritual, uh, religious rituals and religious hymns. Vedas consist of the four books. These four books detail the Brahman beliefs. Okay? Uh, among the four books, Rig Veda is the most important. Okay? Changing beliefs. People begin to question how the world will work and believe it changes. They begin to believe that the multiple deities were just the expression of one central deity, Brahma. Ma, a Bharata. Mahabharata is an uh, Indian history, early history. In the rock down their history in the Mahabharata. What is the meaning of Mahabharata? Maha means uh, uh, separate to part, Maha, a sacred. Mea means the huge, magnificent, great. Bharata means the king. Bharata is dynasty and king. Bharata is realm. Okay? Mea Bharata is one of the world's longest literary works. Mea Bharata is a story of two Indian families struggling for the control of a kingdom. They fight more than eight times. between the two uh, families, okay? Mea Bharata contains many separate episodes. Most notable episode is a uh, uh, battle of the Gita, I told you later. Okay, this uh, Brahmanism, Aryan belief, Brahmanism developed into the today Hinduism. Aryan belief process. <clears throat> Dravidian belief, Native Indian belief, equal to Hinduism. Okay? Brahmanism, law to the Vedic text, Vedic text were their thought and belief about the Vedas. But this Brahmanism developed the Vedas, Upanishad, and other Vedic texts began branding with the uh, beliefs with the different the Dravidian cultures and create the Hinduism. Today, Hinduism believe in the incarnations. The incarnations could be reborn into two new forms and into new caste. Hinduism is a collection of a religious belief that developed slowly over a long period of time. Hindus believe that their religion helps you 
free your soul, soul from your sadness, disappointment, mistake of everyday life. Unlike other major religions, there is no single uh, founder or one set of belief that must be followed. Holy textbook is the Vedas and Upanishad. This slide show Ramayana of the centuries in the beliefs were recorded into the number of sacred texts including the Vedas and Upanishad. Another sacred text is the uh, uh, Ramayana. Ramayana is a two major centuries the epics. Okay? Ramayana is a Indian history of the Hindu's creation, okay? Okay, Vedic area, Vedas, Holy, writings, basic sources of Hindu understanding of universe upon each orator in the text command. Uh, Veda uh, is a world. All these writings, Veda means the knowledge. Vedas are believed to be a divine God, given God, and revealed knowledge. Veda means, uh, Veda is a Sanskrit language. Uh, uh, translated into the, in, uh, the English, the meaning truth. The truth revealed by God is a definition of the Vedas. The aliens developed or order trend. Uh, traditions and created this textbook. Beta record beliefs of the aliens. Beta is a collection of these textbook that form the foundation of a Hindu theology. That is written in Sanskrit languages. I told you Beta is consists of four basic books. Four ba uh, basic books is are uh, Rig Veda, Yacha Veda. Sama Veda, Atharva Veda. Among these four Veda, Rig Veda is the most important. Rig Veda is a collection of 1,028 hymns, religious hymns of a praise to the alien God. Rig Veda contains their basic mythology. This slide shows the whole Vedas. Rig Veda, the oldest and most important section of Vedas, nearly 4,000 years ago. Rig Veda was begun, the collection of 1028, the religious hymns of praise to the God. It contains their basic mythologies, 
Little Vena Terrace, all 33 guys. These 33 guys are born of one creator, Brahma. 33 gods are come from the one god, the Brahma. Most important, the three gods are the Brahma. Uh, the gods are uh, Bishan, Shiva, and the Brahma. These three gods is referred as uh, the Hindu Trinity. Okay, if you uh, see uh, and read, read this one slide in your home, you can catch the overview of these three uh, important Indian gods. Hindus believe in many gods, but they believe that all the gods are the aspect of the single universal spirit called the Brahman. Three aspects of a Brahman are particularly important in India. <coughs> uh, in the Hinduism, Brahma, Shiva, and Vishnu, most of the three important gods. Major beliefs of Hinduism. A universal spirit or a universal soul called Brahma create universes and every create everything in the world. Okay, every person has a soul or atma. Every person's soul atma eventually join the Brahma. People, spirit, and souls are incarnated many times before they can join with the Brahma. A person's karma, action, good deed or bad deed affect how he or her will be reincarnated after the death. The Brahma represented the Creator, his four faces symbolize four Vedas. Shiva is a destroyer aspect of a Brahma. Shiva is usually shown with the four arms and three eyes. Here, he is shown dancing on the back of the demon that uh, he has defeated. Uh, the uh, fear of fire, uh, Shiva, uh, is in the fear of fire. The fire destroyed and created the life. Vision is the preserved aspect of Brahma. He has four arms. Veda is the most important. Just write Holy Bible. Okay? Each Veda, there are four oh, 
types of beta, four groups. Beta has four groups, and each beta group, each group of beta has also four basic parts. The hemesis, first part, is a religious hemesis and prays to the God. Second part is a rich material. Third part is a, the forest books for the hermits. Forest book is written for the hermits and saints who live the simple lives isolated in the forest. Forest book contains meditations and ascetism. Ascetism. Fourth part is a philosophical work or philosophical materials that is referred as a Upanishad. Upanishad is a Sanskrit language. Upan means sitting down. Shah, near the teacher. Okay? Upanishad are religious conversations between the teacher and students. Conversation and dialogue. Religious conversation and dialogue between the holy man that ordinary people could listen to. That is Upanishad. Religious conversation, dialogue between uh, teachers and students are written in the Upanishad. Most important God in the Vedas are as follows. Indra. Indra is the most celebrated God of Rig Veda. Indra governs the weather. Governs thunderbolt, clouds, rain, rains, ruler of heaven, and uh, uh, governs the army. Angie is a god of fire. Bangra is a god of water. Bishim, Rudra, Shuba received only minor attention in the Vedic books. However, Rada became the major god in the Hinduism. Upanishad is a collection of about 200 Vedic uh, philosophical treatises, around 400. Before common era, the wise Hindu teachers tried to interpret and explain the hidden meaning of Vedic religious hymns and religious rituals. Their answers, teachers' answers, were recorded in the collection of the essays that is called as Upanishad. This Upanishad's early philosophical statement became the basis of today Hinduism. Earliest Upanishad originated in 19th century, 9th century before Common Era, and there are 14 principal uh, Upanishads. This slide shows the uh, dialogue between uh, uh, teachers and students. Hindus share a common world view. Religion is the way of liberating the soul from illusions, liberating the soul from disappointment and mistake of everyday existence 
everyday mistakes or teachings of Hinduism are recorded in this textbook Upanishad. Hindu teachers try to understand and explain the hidden meaning of a Vedic uh, hints between uh, 750 and 550 before common era. Uh, the teachers' interpretations were written down in a book called Upanishad. Uh, these uh, textbooks were written in Sanskrit, uh, specifically used for the religious for purposes. The written dialogue and discussions between students and teachers address the belief of the incarnations and the, this dialogue explains how the people can achieve the freedom from desire and the freedom from suffering. Upanishad teaches that a universal spirit is present within all living things. This is a thought to be a might, supreme spirit that create the right, that destroy the right. Therefore, Brahma, universal spirit, can create the right, can destroy the right. Brahma is the one that expresses itself as many gods. Brahman is the only one true reality in the universe. Brahman is an impersonal God right being. Everything in the nature is tied together by Brahman, universal soul. Everything in the nature are tightly tied together with the uh, universal soul, the Brahman. Humans have a personal knowledge and they believe that this life and our separation from the Brahman are real. But this is a personal knowledge. The true knowledge is that all living things are considered a part of the Brahma. Therefore, Hindus forbid the killing of an animal. One aspect of Brahma is the self or the soul called the Atma. Atma. The Atma, the soul, is everywhere. Even though you cannot see your soul, the Atma, nothing that lives ever dies in entirely. When living things dies, it is reborn in another form. This process is known as the incarnations. The soul, Brahman, never die. Atma never die. Only body die. 
or wise hinders must seek to reach the state of the perfect understanding. Perfect, a state of perfect understanding is called as a moksha, just like heaven. Okay? At this point, the self will disappear and merge with the Brahma, universal soul. Uh, the authors of the Upanishad taught that the forms of self-denial, such as the uh, fasting and the praying from the desire, we have to achieve the union with the Brahma. Union with the Brahma is called as a moksha. Also, uh, they encourage the practices of yoga. Yoga combines the physical exercise and mental exercise in order to reach the state of uh, trend. Purity to reach the state of peace, okay? To reach the state of freedom, the yoga will help you, okay? <clears throat> Upanishad, the praise is the Vedas. The Jamna differs from rest of Vedas. <clears throat> Contrary to Vedas general polytheism, a Veda has a polytheism, Upanishad, is a monotheism. Upanishad teaches the only reality is the Brahman, one God, the monotheism. A Brahman is the eternal, infinity, uh, unknowable, the sexist, impersonal. All the gods are expression of the Brahman. It is the person's knowledge and the power's illusions to consider the one's self. One's self one's soul is referred as an Atma. Universal soul referred as a Brahma. Individual person's soul is referred as an Atma. Eventually, Atma individual soul <clears throat> combined with the universal soul at that time, we call the moksha. And the goal of the Hinduism is to attain the moksha. Upanishad contradict the uh, priestly orientation of Vedas. Uh, Vedas focus on the priest. However, Upanishad focus on the individual's uh, meditations. Vedas focus on the sacrifices. However, Upanishad focus on not sacrifice as a means of the worship. Upanishad told that, teach that, Overcoming the ignorance and overcoming the illusions is a, a meaning of life. Performing the rituals and performing the sacrifice is not the meaning of life. Vedas focus on the performing rituals and sacrifices. However, 
you Upanishad not focus on performing the ritual and sacrifice. Uh, Upanishad focus on the individual's knowledge, philosophy. Okay? And the individual meditations, such as the yoga. All acts, karma, karmas, uh, Sanskrit language, meaning the action, deed. All action, all karma have spiritual consequences corresponding their character. Wandering of soul forces at the death into new body. That is referred as a samsara, sanctus language, samsara. Be born again, the incarnations, God of life. Break the curse, the cycle of karma, and the <clears throat> cycle of the samsara, and attain the freedom. Attain the moksha from the burden of life. These Upanishads abstract and aesthetic philosophy is very, very popular only with the intellectual peoples, not mainstream, but not mainstream. The living beings that make up our world are the only expression of the Brahman. Karma, every action, every sort has a consequences. Some say that to wander across, to be born again according to the life's uh, behavior. Moksha, break the freedom, break the free from right. Okay. Uh, beliefs. The incarnations. Some said. The incarnation is the soul's cycle of births and deaths until it, it attains the moksha. All beings are reborn after deaths. Deaths is not the final stage for hindrances. Because Hindus expect to be born again many times. It's. Moksha is a salvation and uh, is governed by the karma. Hindus believe that your behavior in these lives determines your praise in the next life or determines uh, your. Living life. The soul is eternal. Never die. The soul is indestructible. The soul travels one body to the next, another people's body. However, the body is temporary. The body dies. That is a concept of a samsara. Oh, this uh, slide is a summary of the Hindus' belief and reincarnation. If you read uh, this slide in your home, uh, 
you will catch the basic concept of Hinduism. I skip. No time. Karma. Karma, action or deed is referred as karma in the same place to language. Karma rested on the idea of free will. Every human body has a free will. This free will will not be removed from the God. Concept of karma, karma is the concept that if you do good deeds, good things will be happen in your life. However, if you do a bad deed, bad things happen in your life. One's action determines the causes of one's life cycle and determines one's reverses. Further, if you live a good life, such what is the meaning of a good life? Good life is a, a doing good deeds or being a spiritual follower of Hinduism. If you do not follow the Hinduism, you will live born as an imperial form. Okay? If you live a good life, you will be reincarnated into a higher position. If you live a bad life, you will be reincarnated in the lower position. The law of karma, the law of the incarnations teach you how to operate and affects your life. These two maps shows the basic concept of the karma. Okay? Law of karma. Dharma. Dharma is an ethical duty based on the divine order of reality. This word, Dharma, is the closest equivalent to the religion. Dharma is prayed out in all aspects of life, religious life, social life, family life. You must do your life according to this, the concept of Dharma, ask a duty. Okay. Moksha. Moksha is a salvation and is governed by the karma. Like the heaven for the Christians, the Hindus strive to reach the moksha or state of changing his beliefs. The moksha is achieved by living a life of uh, religious devotion or the life of moral integrity. The ultimate reward is a release from the samsara and union with God, an intangible energy. That is the moksha. The law of manu. The law of manu is a, a traditional Indian asker text written between 300 uh, people common era and 300 common era. Law of Manu. The Brahma is the father of the Manu. Manu is just like the... Wait a moment. Just like the... Noah. Okay. Same characteristics of Noah in Christian. 
Lohmann illustrated the ethical standard and social standard held as ideals during the classical era of Indian history and the effect of religious uh, teachings of Vedas on the society. Uh, according to the Logomano, uh, after the flooding, big flooding, only seven family members are survived. The descendant of these seven uh, family members, including Man, Man create and uh, today is a human being. Okay. A local man reveals the root of social and religious traditions of modern Hinduism. The Varna uh, systems of social stratification. What is the Varna? Varna is a uh, a Sanskrit language meaning the social division, division or class is a varna. Social division in Aryan society is referred as a varna in Sanskrit language. The first three classes are twice upon the first classes. Sudra are once born. Members of each group have specific duties. These specific duties are the Dharma. Dharma. Specific duties only within their caste. Okay? Members of each group have a specific duties and specific opportunities, and members of each group must obey them. Varna system in the social stratifications. Uh, members of lower classes can gradually move up to a higher rank through incarnations if they uh, carefully uh, follow the Dharma of the caste in his life. In this life, the people could also move down in length, even to the animal, even to the plant levels, if they uh, commit the evil, bad deed of body, speech, or mind. Evil speech, evil mind. Varna includes early understanding of incarnations. Its central teaching is that upper class men are expected to pass through following four various stages of life. Four stages of life are follows. The first stage of life is the students of Vedas. Second stage of life is a man is within the caste and the head of a house or so the stages of life is a retreat from society to become a hermit and learn non-attachment. Number four, four stages become a wandering a beggar. Okay? Uh, Jainism, uh, Buddhism, uh, Jainism Buddhism originated in 6th century before common era, and these two religions challenge the mainstream of the Hinduism. Both religion rejected the sacred, uh, sacrificial system of obedience by teaching that personal achievement, not ritual sacrifice. Personal achievement is the best to obtain the release, release from life of moksha. Okay? Yeah, Jainism teaches ascetism, whereas Buddhism does not believe that the extremes of ascetism are necessary. 
Bhagda the guitar. Guitar means a song. Bhagda uh, uh, the guitar is a Sanskrit language. Bhagda means uh, the God. Guitar means a song or a sacred text. Uh, Bhagavad Gita uh, is the Hinduism's most popular sacred text. Bhagavad uh, is a God. Gita is a song, chant, or declared, or said. It means that it has been told, declared, or said by uh, Bhagavad or God. Uh, Bhagavad Gita is an epic poem of Indian culture and religion. Uh, this is a poem about the great battle related to the struggle of heroes of God. Uh, Baghdad Gita is a chapter uh, 27 to uh, chapter 40 of, uh, within the long epic Mea Beata. Mea means a great Beata, means a king Beata. Okay? Mea Beata is a story of struggle between two reading families from the beginning of Indian history. Families in Mayabharata have a final epic battle between, uh, there are more than the eight battles uh, between these two families. But uh, the Gita is a final battle between 550 and 650. Uh, Mayabharata uh, was written over long period. But Bhagavad Gita was written and inserted into the Mayabharata between 2nd and 3rd century before common era. Okay, uh, this uh, picture shows the uh, Bhagavad Gita the Bhagavad Gita is a discourse uh, between the Krishna and uh, Arjuna said in the chariot at the start of uh, Mahabharatan war. Uh, Bhagavad Gita is uh, uh, 74,000 verses in the scriptures that is part of the epic Mahabharata, uh, uh, chapter 23 to chapter 40. Um, Bhagavad Gita is a dialogue or a conversation prior to a final battle between the warrior Arjuna, Princess Arjuna, and his chariot, charioteer Krishna. Uh, uh, Arjuna uh, Pandas considers the folly of war, but uh, his uh, charioteer uh, Krishna raptured the Arjuna, the princess, that uh, this war is a religious duty, religious dharma of his classes to be a warrior. It is your duty to fight against the, the enemy, your duty, okay? Therefore, you must fight Krishna raptured him. Uh, Krishna lectures Arjuna on the doctrines of lectures Arjuna again on the doctrines of Upanishad. Finally, Krishna reveals uh, himself as the uh, incarnations of a supreme being himself. Bhagavan. Bhagavan. I'm a Bhagavan. I'm a man of uh, I am. Uh, uh, Krishna, but I'm a manifestation of the Bhagavan, Supreme Being, Supreme God. Okay? Uh, the basic teaching of Bhagavad Gita is that the people should perform the duties of their caste and avoid the karma. Uh, duties of one's caste is, is religious, not personal. 
in Hindu traditions, the word Gita is also used to denote as a sacred writings of religious exposures. Gita is a sacred writing. Uh, the Gita uh, is open to a range of religious expressions. People can achieve the moksha from samsara through many means such as asset ascetism, meditations, and devotions to the God and worship of God and obedience to the duties of the caste. A vision comes to the earth in multiple incarnations in order to help the humans whom Vishnu loved. Okay, uh, post classical Hinduism. Classical religion, Indian religion is a Brahmanism uh, and post classical religion is a Hinduism. Classical uh, Hinduism is a religion of uh, Indian people was largely based on the sacred <coughs> facial rites carried out by the specialist uh, priest that be therefore be early Vedas focus on these specialist uh, priests. Okay? The God was worshipped with the sacrifices offered on the altar built that is built in the altar. Altar is a table in order to sacrifice to God. Or classical Hinduism is that the worship of the pure major God in many forms. Worship of a few many gods in many forms were done through the individual love, through the individual devotion to his or her local god. After classical period ended, uh, interest involved in the worshiping only the few gods. Temple was built and the religious hymns were composed. Modern eras, the Hinduism focused on the, uh, me, the uh, under the modern era of Hinduism, the meditation process emerged in the Hindu philosophy. Um, meditation, of course, uh, shifted in the basic attitude toward the forced classical life or redirections tended to center on the God and Godliness. That is called the, the, the uh, Paranas, is a Sanskrit, uh, Sanskrit language. Okay. The Hindu gods began to have many human qualities, but on the grand scale, meditation processes began to emerge in the Hindu philosophy in modern era. Okay. Way of devotion. Brahman, the ultimate reality of a Hindu soul is a one and undivided yet uh, force classical Hindu soul. Uh, see him as uh, Trimurti. Uh, Trimurti is a second language uh, meaning that the Trinity, the three God, three forms, creation, destruction and preservation. A particular God expresses one function of uh, the Brahman. Brahman, uh, three God is a Brahman is a creator of the world. Vishnu is a God of love, benevolences, and forgiveness. Vishnu uh, appears in many different forms in order to assist the humans. Example of a vision is a, a vision is appeared as a, a Krishna in Bhagavad Gita. Shuba is a god of a destroyer and cre creations. Uh, Shuba uh, is a force the baby deity developed from uh, the Aryan god Rudra. Okay. Uh, uh, Shuba is a god of death. This is destructions. 
reproduction and fertility. Uh, this uh, uh, map shows the Hindu Trinity. Brahman is a source of all, is a supreme being. Uh, Brahman is entity without a form of qualities, uh, is a soul of evils, divine, uh, invisible, unlimited. Uh, uh, Brahma is a creator, uh, Shuba is a destroyer, uh, Vishnu is a preserver. How do hinders a world shape and hinder three? How do hinders the world? Uh, hinders believe in one supreme being whom they call Brahman. Uh, Brahman is no uh, personal characteristics. Vedas uh, describe Brahman as an inverse soul. Uh, <coughs> hinders worship the one God. In a various forms, according to the different functions they believe he performs. Hindus believe that God is omnipresent, always present, everywhere, in all living things, and the deity may be uh, present in masculine ways and feminine ways. Masculine means the man. Uh, feminine means the woman, the Hindu uh, Trinity. Hindu Trinity is composed of the Brahma and Vishnu Shiva. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Hindus believe in more than one God. They are polytheistic. Worshippers who are devoted themselves to one God. The personal deity, a thousand shrine pictures, pictures and statues of chosen gods in the individual homes. Is Brahma, the creator. Okay. See, I uh, already told you the, the Brahma, uh, Vishnu, and the Shiva. Uh, first, the classical uh, the Hinduism, the devotion to the knowledge, uh, devotion to knowledge, meditation, uh, first, classical Hinduism focused on the devotion to the knowledge, such as the meditations. Bayat. Means devout, devout. Piety for the intellectuals and racial classes based on the uh, philosophical uh, systems. Fourth, the classical Hinduism focus on the uh, philosophy. People could choose one God and more God to devote themselves to their lo uh, loving God. The yoga system views the world as a dualism and teaches that one should attempt to yoke, control. One should attempt to uh, restrain from the endless desire. Or one should join the individual spirit to the God, the Atma. Individual spirit uh, spirit means uh, Atma, okay? Vedanta system. Vedanta system. Vedanta is a Sanskrit language. Vedanta uh, means uh, end of uh, Vedas, meaning is a peak of Veda teachings and based largely on Upanishad. Upanishad is the most important the, uh, sacred text in the first classical Hinduism. Basic teaching of first classical Hinduism is that our real nature is uh, divine God, 
underlining. God is underlining reality. Therefore, God underlining reality is existed in every being. Therefore, religion is a such a for this self knowledge and such a for the God within the uh, knowledge. Uh, the Vedanta is a monistic system. Only Brahman exists, assuming only one true essence in the universe. There are only one true essence. There are only one true Brahmans in the universes. That is the meaning of Vedanta, uh, the post classical Hinduism, focus on the mainstream of. Uh, first class Hinduism is a Vedanta, okay? Uh, humanity problem is uh, according to the, uh, the Vedanta, uh, humanist problem is the ignorance of uh, Brahma and illusory nature of the world. The world is illusory appearance of Brahma. Ad Beta Vedante developed by Ad Beta Vedante non dual uh, is uh, developed by <coughs> Shankara in the ninth century. A philosophers of uh, medieval period in the Vedante are a famous philosopher, uh, Shankara and Ramanuya and Medba. Ramanuya uh, in the medieval uh, era period, 11th to the 12th century, uh, he taught and qualified uh, Vedanta dualism. Medba. Uh, in the 13th century, in the uh, medieval uh, theory, brought a fully uh, dualistic perspective into the Vedanta system. Uh, Muslim influences in the India, uh, Mus uh, origins of Muslim presence in India, the Muslims conquered the Northwest India uh, uh, about uh, 712 uh, uh, common era. The Turkish general uh, Mahmud of Ganji invaded India 17 times uh, in the 11th century. Certainate the Delhi, Kingdom of Delhi was formed in the 13th century in the India. The Mongol Turk. Mongol means a, a Mongol. A Mongol Turk dynasty ruled India in the uh, 16th century. Today, India has a world second largest Muslim populations. Populations. Indonesia is the largest. The Hinduism country, India is a second Hinduist country. Relations between the Hindus and Muslims have always been touched, contradictory. Money is the Islam, Buddhism, policy is the Hinduism. I call a classic Islam versus Hindu sacred image. Muslim sacrifices of cattle versus Hindu venerations of cattle. Muslims egalitarians versus Hindus caste system. Yet many Muslims have adopted the caste as a mother of a social organization. Hindu theology not uh, altered 
due to the contact with the Islam. The schism try to reconcile a schism uh, is immersive in order to reconcile these two different different cultures between the Islam and Hindus. Schism uh, is a big big uh, religions in the India uh, territory. Okay, uh, this map shows the Muslim influences in India. Okay, the uh, <coughs> Muslim uh, Ottoman Empire dominated the part of Europe, Africa, and Asia. Uh, the Muslim Ottoman Empire established the Mughal Empire in the India from. Uh, 1300 to 1700, the three gunfire empire, the Ottoman Empire dominated the part of the Europe, uh, the Africa, and Asia. The portion of India were conquered by Muslim forces in the classical period. Today, there are more Muslims on the Indian subcontinent than anywhere else on the earth is. India has a Muslim population second on in size to, uh, to Indonesia. Indian society has adopted a part of the Muslim cultures that a Muslim cultures is adopted by the Mughal Empire. Under the Mughal Empire, the schism is immersed. Okay, movement and issues in modern Hinduism. The Christianity influenced the Hinduism in modern period. One of the most important modern influences on Hinduism has been exposed to the Christianity and its Europeans and American representatives. Uh, the Great Britain rule, Brit, uh, the Great Britain rule, India for the three centuries, 300 years, uh, they conquered the India. Uh, the missionary came on in the 19th century. William Carey, the British missionary, in the 19th century, initiated the new education the programs for the Indian people. William Carey, British missionaries, challenged the idea of the thirty and child marriage in the India, and British outlawed these practices in the 1829. What is the meaning of a thirty? When husband die, living wife also die, and breed together in the grave. That is a practice of uh, thirty. Okay. Modern Hindu reformers, Lam Mohan Roy, is called as a father of modern India. Uh, Lam Mohan Roy uh, was a respect, respected Christianity, but Roy did not believe in the divinity of Jesus Christ. Roy is a monotheist who opposed polytheist as idolatry. Roy organized society of God and forces for Western style reforms in Hinduism. Then Krishna is a part was a part of a non-dualistic Vedanta. Then 
uh, Krishna is a philosophical opponent, proponent of uh, Advaita Vedanta, who taught all truths is essentially one. Then Krishna traveled the world teaching then Krishna's ideas that Hinduism is essentially the Vedanta. Mohandas K. Gandhi. Gandhi is best known Indian reformer of the 20th century. Gandhi was a religious reformer who combined the traditional Hinduism with the elements of Christianity, Zainism, Islam, and the Persian. Gandhi opposed the caste system. Gandhi called the untouchable class as a Harijan. Harijan means, Harijan is a Sanskrit language, Harijan means the children of God. Unifying object of concerning concern among reformers is a caste system. Caste system. The development of a caste system into the modern form begins in the 8th century common era. Unlike the ancient Varna system, caste system, modern caste system allows for the ritual uh, interactions between the classes, four classes. Four a basic caste developed in the thousands of sub castes based on the vocations, based on ascendancy, based on religious rhymes. The lowest caste called untouchables earn low wages and endure poor living and poor working conditions. Despite the sanction in the baby redirections, the caste discriminations, outlaw in the 1948, the constitutions of the Republic of India. However, caste system still firmly entrenched in the India. Caste system still firmly established in the India. Traditional Hinduism seems to support the people's placement in the caste system as evidences of the karma. Hindu holidays, because of a large number of gods and the goddesses, the Hinduism has many festivals, many feasts. Millions of Hindus make an annual pilgrimage to the Ganges River in order to bask and renew their vows. Harley days. Harley is the most popular festival. Harley celebrated in the February and March to welcome the spring. Harley dedicated the God of Krishna. That was once a fertility ceremony. The barley. The barley is a celebration of the Hindu New Year. The barley, another name, is a festival of rites. Okay? Hindu New Year starts in November. The rice are floating on the small legs. The Hindus believe that if the candle remains the right, then good luck will follow. This Diwali uh, was a basis in worship of Kali. Dasera. Dasera is a nine days in October celebrated the God. Druga. Druga is a concert of the Shuba. Uh, Desera is a celebrate the Druga's victory of the Bapalo demon. 
this slide shows the Ganges river. The Hindus believe that the water of the Ganges is a sacred enough to purify all sins. Hindus believe the Ganges river is a sacred and open. They wish to be cremated and have their ashes sprinkled into the river of Ganges upon that city. Hindus Hale city is a <clears throat> Banaras Banaras uh, pilgrims came from all over in order to bath in the Ganges. Countless Hindus came to the holy city of Banaras in order to die. Hindus were to die in the Banaras holy city. Okay? Holy city of Banaras has 1,500 temples. Most of temples devoted to the Shiva. Banaras is a gathering place for the religiously learned and their disciples. Okay, a uh, Hindu temple. Uh, there are thousands of Hindu gods and thousands of gardens of Hinduism. Most of the beliefs of Hinduism came from oral traditions of areas which became the Vedas of Hindus. This Hindu temple is covered with incredible detailed carving and decorations. Many individual sculptures are images of important Hindu God like the statues of a vision above. Hinduism today The challenges of a modernity to traditional Hinduism. Modern India, prime, modern India is a primary home of Hinduism, is the world's largest democracy. Modern Indians assume their lives in this world can be improved. Their lives in this world can be progressive. Optimism is a warranty. That fact has put the Hinduism in conflict with the modern issues like birth control and urbanizations. In other parts of the world, Hindus face minority uh, religious status and issues of assimilations. In India, the temples are often devoted to the worship of a small number of local popular deities, but in places where Hindus are not the majority the temples are dedicated to the worship of many gods from various religions in the India. That is the Hinduism today in the world.